In this video, I want to show you how with little AI Boost, we can bring back to life some of those applications slowly phasing out of the market due to their influences of AI. Because for example, Vue or Plant Fractory from Eon Software, it's a, one of the powerful applications that cost used to be $1,000 now absolutely free. And it's used to create environment for the movie. Or for example, Terragen, it's still, it's a very powerful application, still be active, but I see how the usage a little bit decreasing because it's much easier to go inside the AI, create beautiful scenery instead of spend actually hours and hours sometimes to try create with those nodes complex terrains. It still be quite a bit fun. And this application is still super powerful. Example, you can see like Ender's Games movie was using this application. What are we going to do this time? create a special interface where AI will boost our program. So let me start step by step. If you want to follow everything you see here is absolutely free. All links will be down below for you. And as we're going along, I will show you where you can get more resources and how them properly set up. And I try to make as easy as possible. Okay, so right here, if you want to download it, charge in applications. Use it free versions. It's what I'm using here for this example. It's fully functional. It just have a little bit limitations, but they're not affecting us at all. So link down below, go to Planet Side, download it free Terrigen version and install on your computer. It will be look something like this application. Don't get scared by interface because you'll notice we will work a little bit, but mostly not in Terrigen. And just in case, if you look for additional information or want to learn more about 3D and AI, I'm starting a live courses in January of 2026, where we cover all of this from modeling to using a blender and how to even 3D print. So we'll cover everything. And this is actual live courses. So when just you and I can together work on this. I will provide link down below if you're interested. Go ahead and check out these courses. See what you think about this. And if you like it, join and we'll work together on that. Okay, next after we install this, you want to download it my code. My code is I wrote in couple days, so it's still be kind of in production in a visual studio. And it was done with the help of AI. But you can download it all of this code in the links down below from directly GitHub, I will provide this. You can clone all of this. And if you want to contribute to this project or just use it. And if you're not familiar with Python or don't want to deal it, afraid of kind of to do this in a district and there's a distribution folder, dist, you'll notice I have a terrain AI executable. It's e exe file. If you work on a Mac, let me know in a notice and I will create Mac distribution for you as well. All what you need to do, download these applications and run. And like I said, if you worried about what application does, more than welcome, go over the code and see precisely what it <laughs> does. If you scroll down, you'll notice it's having all the requirements. We will utilize the Google AI Studio API keys to use this. And the reason is one of my version, I did it where I utilize local on my local machine to utilize AI or Llama, but problem is some of those 3D applications, they're taking a lot of resources and they will compete between AI and Terrigen. So I found it's much easier to utilize other service. And beside with new Google Pro 3, it is did magic for what we needed. So we utilize the powerful tool online through API keys. The one thing also keep in mind on API key when you set up, when you create a new key, you will have it on a free tier. So you can try and experiment with this, but it's will limited how many requests you can do. If you're going with more production line, one create a much more calls or develop heavier stuff, you probably want to switch to the pay version. And API pay version is not much. It's maybe a couple, three, four, five dollars, depending on your load a month. So it is. You need to be very, very heavy user <laughs> to actually utilize to pay a lot. But general, no, it's not that expensive. So if you want, you can try it. Again, links for this down below and more instructions right here, how to set up API keys. So you can go step by step. So that is prerequisite. It's what we needed. 
after you install Terragen, you install or download these applications, open and run. When you start running this application, you'll see this interface. It did not win any awards for UI design yet because it is still in production. And I will tell you what kind of ideas I have at next. So you probably will be as excited as I am to develop more with this. This interface right here will take image, photo, multiple photos, whatever you have terrain, put it here. And this it will connect directly through the API to our Terrigen and magically create a terrain, included atmosphere, clouds, sun, everything is there for us. So we'll create this true 3D virtual world inside the Terrigen from one single image. Okay, let's do this way. First, let's go click on used reference image. And as we click here, you can see it's multiple. I'll select one. You can see I already created different ones. Yes, I experiment a lot with this. And we'll just select, let's go this ruling hills. Just simple reference image. The more images, you, let me explain a little bit how it works so you understand what's happening. Because it's a single image, like from one shot. If we look on this closer, you'll see we don't see what's behind the hill. The AI will try hallucinate or imagine what maybe be there and pre-create. The more images you have from different angles, the system will accept them and build more accurate terrain based on different perspectives. So, for example, if you have a mountain ridge from different angles, you take it, you put here, and it will more accurate, will create it. But if it's not on an image, AI will fantasize. Just keep this in mind. It's what will happen. So, right here, we have it one. And let's go ahead and click on Generate High Field Notice. We have a check Generate Textures because it will also create a texture layer for us. Down below, I have it my window where I just spit out what's going on in the future it's probably will be hidden on a purpose but right now as you're using and interested to see what's happening you can see right below depend on how much load of the servers this is a respond we'll have it usually it's take about minutes two minutes before we receive back our result and here we have it back the information from what we you can see it does create high fields for us with this hill up front right here. It does create some texture to apply as best it can. Again, if you don't like it, you can try create to generate another images. So it will have it a slightly variations of what we see. Let's see how more accurate or closer enough that will be. So right here, you can see our terrain. We have it hill in this. If we Click another time, generate images. It will try generate again another ones. They will be look slightly different because, again, it's only one single image it's based on. I like actually second better because I see this hill and right here, I think this is representing much closer to what we see. So again, don't accept what AI give it to you. You can work around, but provide more images if you need more accurate look on a landscape someday in the future we may be even generated directly from the sky <laughs> from the satellite but right now this is imagine hills and if you create your fantasy land that will be perfect for us to create it so right here we have this image let's go next what if we look on an image we also have a beautiful sky sunset golden hour click upload sky and we'll just select the same image we're going to have a different ones Notice it's a different layers of the clouds. It's not just one layer, it's multiple. We'll go click Analyze Atmosphere. Right now, you'll notice I have multiple steps I am taking. This is purely for purpose to, as you work with applications, see which steps is succeeded. Eventually, when everything is working polished as I want it, we'll just have it one single image. Just upload it, and as uploaded, it start processing and directly connecting to our Terrigen and it will create terrain. So literally, you needed just a one click to do this. And right here, as analyzing, you can see it did create for us a JSON file. And inside JSON, we can see how many. It is create cloud layers, one, two. So it's defined as have a two clouds layers. It's fine. And it's also applications work with AI to analyze what type of the clouds 
what coverage, density, it's all this stuff need to be fit inside the detergent to create a perfect cloud layer. Right here you can see thickness, positioning, all stuff included atmosphere. We have it actually full lining and atmosphere information here. Let's shrink this just a little bit so we can see preview here. We'll just put it on a side. And another side, we'll put our detergent. We'll see how the two applications work together. We'll enable sun and lighting. Let's go right there and look a little bit on a sky like here, see what's happening. Next, let's set up lighting. Click here and you can see it's past information and it's already changing. So if we change, look on the lighting, it's a look like this. Of course, we can go and, you know, just rotate a little bit more to the sun to create more golden hour because it did position inside our detergent, but camera was looking different ways. So you can see right here, the lighting is similar. Next, we also can create clouds. If we click on this, it's creating clouds right here. We can see it's actually created two layers of the clouds. I spent only two days to create these applications. We need to grow more to adjust, to polish, to be sure everything to work. But if this can be achieved in two days by one person, just imagine what this team can do to rejuvenate these applications. Okay, so right here, you can see we created the cloud layers, clouds are generating fractal. So if we could create exactly the same clouds, but we need to use masking, we can still do this, but not in this current version. It is inside of my mind to have it masking and have the same clouds there. This is our atmosphere. Let's turn off our atmosphere and see what's happening with terrain. This is our default terrain. Let's zoom out so we can preview our terrain as we put it right there so next let's work with terrain we'll go click select high field you remember we created those high fields and there's our high fields the one we'll select the high field it is distance from bottom black is the lowest and white is highest point sometimes they kind of try to put it but there may be distance wrong because a truly tear file or high field file We'll have it also information how many meters or what distance between. And that this image does not have this information. So we'll just create a low how points and we can adjust a little bit later. And remember, I told you that we'll do just a little bit adjustment inside the detergent. So don't be scared about that. Right here, we preload it. Let's go select textures. And for the textures, we'll just select what we generate in here. Next, click send to charge You can see right here, it's creating for us all of this. Done, it's created. So now we can zoom out. See, it's actually created this piece of terrain right there. Beautiful. Maybe a little bit too high. Reposition. It's creating beautifully. If we open, this is terrain we preloaded and you can see the image. Right here, we have our shader. And in the shader, we have our displacement and displacement. It's what make a height. So the, you remember it says contract and you can see how cube little bit decreasing. So we'll just go like right there. This is if you want to adjust what you need to do. Eventually, if we want to add more in these applications, we can do this. But my hope is actually take this idea and implement inside the application itself. So inside the detergent, you have a tab like AI and inside there, you'll just put it image and because it's inside application, it's can done much faster, easier. And you can just from one image, recreate this. And right there, you can see the beautiful terrain. Let's click texture. There's our texture. Recreated. Look at this, our 3D terrain from one single image. It just brought more to this. Don't go away because I want to show you even more fun things we can do with this. And there it goes. Look on this. Our atmospheres, hills, right there. Our sun, positioning. Very good job on all of this. Okay. Let's disable this. Okay. Next thing is what I want to show you. The next step to this. And this is our future. If you have ideas, drop comments below. Let me know the next step on this. That's how I say roadmap. 
It is not just landscape. What if you have a building inside? And when you have a building, what we can do here with AI, we can actually take image. And this is example in Gemini. It's what we're using. I'll just show you power of this AI. For example, right here we take, you see the building? We can also just says, hey, you know what? Isolate this building for me. Right here, you can isolate building. Or if you want to create another building like this, you know, something more in fantasy, it can analyze AI and create this building. From inside the applications, when we create here, we can also forking out to the create landscape and another ones, for example, going in utilize service API like high items example. Yes, they do have it also API and you can see my video where we connected and I did create nodes in Comp UI already with API. So we already have it pre-done. We can integrate it inside these applications and then you can create a 3D object like this. 3D terrain with the houses, everything and place them inside there. So you're not stuck to just create one simple terrain. That's why I say the AI, this boost of AI, it's rejuvenate these applications because now you don't need it. Spend time on modeling all small things. You probably still want to model a nice hero object, but this is an end background. Like for example, you saw this windmill. It's a kind of easy generate from there. So we'll have a photo that is generating for us from photo. We go inside, we're removing extract all elements, extract even if house's presence and recreating everything inside the 3D applications. Let me point again, because this is a high quality applications. It's create stunning amount. This was developed for many, many years. It is a very powerful, very solid good applications and this little boost of what we can do with AI none other ones can compare to this this is and I'm very excited let me know what you think about this remember all links down below please go ahead and check download it play around what do you think progression will be for this you agree with me or not thank you for watching we'll see you next time bye